Right, correct. And they still teach that today, correct? Because if I type in on Google, Jesus Christ, what images are going to pop up? White man. So let's see what he looks like according to the Bible. This is the book of Reve Revelation, chapter 1, verse 1. All right, but listen, we're going to describe what Jesus Christ looks like. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The revealing of Jesus Christ. Verse 14. Verse 14. His hair and his hairs were white like wool. It says the hair on his head and his beard were white like wool. Now, my brother, feel your beard. And my brother, feel your hair. Feel that texture. What does that feel? It's what? Wool. It's plain to see. It's woolly. That's what Christ has. Woolly hair. Now, what texture of hair does that give it to? What people is that give it to? Black people. It's plain to see. But keep going. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his feet. And his feet, because if we look at your feet, the, the color of your feet is going to be pretty much the same color as the rest of your body. Go ahead. Like unto fine brass. What color is brass? Brass. There you go, bronze. There you go. As if they burn in a furnace. And you take that brass and you burn it. What color is it going to be when you burn anything? Very dark. There you go. So we just read a description of Christ. Now, my problem is, now, if we read that in the Bible, where do we get this image from? Where do we get that image of a, of a, of a, a pale white man with the blue eyes and stringy hair, long blonde hair? Where did that come from? Who put that in there? Let me tell you. Who, who, say it again. Say it again. White folks did it. No, it's no shame. This is history. Hey, look, we're not lying. This is history. All right, we ain't lying. So, all right, give me, give me this. Give me a, give me a song. Now, give me a Deuteronomy 28. Let's go there. Now, I'm going to prove to you, my brother. My brother, our, our thing is we're out here to teach you who you are according to the Bible. Because you probably never heard that, all right? This Bible is not for all races. This Bible is not for all people. Jesus Christ only died to save the nation of Israel, which consists of the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right. And we're going to prove that with the curses next. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass. Now the Lord is saying it shall come to pass, meaning this is going to happen. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe, to do all his commandments, the end his statutes which I command thee this day. So he's saying if we do not keep his laws, if we do not listen to our father and obey his rules, what's going to happen? That all these curses, it says all these curses shall come upon thee. It says shall come upon thee. So when we break these laws, these curses have to happen. Go ahead. And overtake thee. And not only is it going to happen, it's going to overtake us. Meaning they're going to be on us for a very long time. Right. Go ahead. Cursed shall thou be in the city. Every city that there is. Our people populate the ghettos, the worst parts of it. You so-called Hispanics, you populate the worst parts. You so-called blacks, you populate the worst parts of the city. Because that's a curse on us because we didn't keep the laws of God. We're not a different people. I know y'all think that, 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 that y'all think we're laughing around and playing, but we're the same people according to what God said. Right. Keep going. And curse shall thou be in the field. In every field that we had, even in our slavery. When you was in the sugarcane field, the cotton field, Gee. or picking fruits. That was our people giving that task because we had our oppressor over us. All right? We suffer the same curses. That's why we're brothers. There's no separation between us. We fit the curses that God put on us. All right, go to 68. Verse 68. 32, I'm sorry, 32. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. It says, our sons and our daughters shall be given unto another people. And your ancestors. Your ancestors were taken and shipped all the way across the world. And not only that, but when you had children, your children were taken from you and separated from you. All right? Keep going. And the thine shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. And there shall be no might in thine hand. Now, now the thing is, it says, once we get to this place, our children are going to be separated from us. And we're going to have no might to get them back. Verse 68. Verse 68, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. And this is why, this is why, that's why we do laughing stock. Because our people sit there and do stuff like so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. Have you ever heard that? 
Sis, why you my face? One sis? Oh, sis, 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 why you my Brady face? Sis, why you my face? Don't open that book. Don't open this. My script. brother, come on over here. Tell me what you got. You got it? Talk about the woman. What you got? You can't give me Get tired of shooting. Get tired of shooting. All right? Is, We're out here for our I sisters and our brothers that want to repent. All right? If you don't want to listen, if you don't want to hear, just keep on walking. All right? And my brother in the car right here. My brother. You know that you're an Israelite according to the Bible? Thus saith the Lord. Now, do you know that God said that we're supposed to be above everybody, right? That we're not supposed to be living in the worst parts of society. That we're not supposed to be selling drugs to our brothers, all right? Not supposed to be killing our brothers. That's what we're here to teach. We're teaching love. We're teaching love thy neighbor as thyself, and our people have a problem with that. Isn't that backwards? We're trying to get our people out of our condition that we're in. But she has a problem with that because she has another Jesus on her mind. Give me that. This is the book of Titus, chapter 2 and verse 2. That the age, that verse three, that the age women likewise, the age women likewise, that they be in behavior, that they should be in behavior as becometh holiness, as holiness. Holiness isn't up in another man's face screaming and yelling. That's not holiness according to the Bible. We're going to give you what holiness is. Keep going. Not false accuser. Not a false accuser because she lied to my brother earlier. Go ahead. Not given to much wine. Not what? Not giving to much wine. Not drinking and being drunk out in public. Right. Not defiling yourself. Keep I, going. I told you. Teachers of good things. Because we're out here to teach our people good things. Love your neighbor as yourself. Build your communities up. Have a wife. Get children. Teach them the laws of God. That's why we're out here. Right. We're not here for the nonsense. We can give a damn about the nonsense. We're out here to save our people. Keep going. Right. That they may teach the young women. They should do what? Teach the young women. This is our woman teaching. She's supposed to teach the young women. Is this what she's teaching the young women? To be loud and obnoxious in front of men's face? Is this, a, this our teachers right now? Keep going. To be sober. To be sober. Keep going. To love their husband. Hey, my brother, what did you say? Hey, what did you say, brother? Hey, hold on. What did my brother What did you say? He knows why we're out here. He understands that. We're here for our people to show love. Keep going. To love their husbands. To love their husbands. Because a woman that does not have a husband, or even if she does have one, should not be out here gathering the bar. What that's that, Sirach, uh, 20, Sirach 26. 27 up there. Get Sirach 26. All right? Because like the brother brought earlier, we should have our women out here doing anything they want to do. Because every woman should report to a man. Right. That's the order that the Lord said. Either she should be under her father or under her husband. Right. She's not to be out here alone. It's nonsense. Because a woman doesn't have the capacity to think past a certain age. Go ahead. Uh, uh, give me verse, uh, verse 8. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 26 and verse 8. A drunken woman. A what? A drunken woman. And a gather abroad. Gather abroad, just out here doing whatever she wants, not being held accountable for anything. That's a shame to the, to the Most High God. Because an order was set in 1 Corinthians. We'll get that next. A drunken woman and a gather abroad causes great anger. Great anger. Why? Because the woman is the one that starts a lot of our problems. The same, the same woman like this will jump in a man's face and threaten me, right? And then she'll call another man to get me shot. What's up, sir? King James Russian. What's up, sir? Don't have a book of Shabbat. How are you? Uh, so you're not are you? from King James Russian. Okay, good. So listen, a woman will give me shot. She will call another man because she's not going to do it herself. That's what always happens. She'll call another man to come up here and cause harm to me. And then I'm either in the hospital or dead. That man's in jail. And she's back on the streets the next day, gathering abroad, doing the same damn thing. This is what happens. Read that again. A drunken woman. She can celebrate her birthday, which is against the Bible. This she broke another law, but she knows the Bible. Keep going. A drunken woman and a gather abroad causes great anger. And she will not. Cover her own shame. She won't cover her own shame because she won't repent. She'll think that she's right in her head. Keep going. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. 
These are how men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.